we bring you good news on today's edition of Community Watch here on Metro TV. With me, Gabriel Nyobodai, Atupra, Atunam, Togbo, Ashon, Kwao Sonu. If you've been following Community Watch for a while now, you would recall an episode where we mentioned to you about some challenges that the Queen's School in La, well, if you don't know, there is a Queen's School in La called La Wireless Cluster of Schools. There was a very deplorable or dilapidated defunct clinic which was almost collapsing and we fear that if it wasn't attended to it could collapse and then kill pupils on the campus and as well thieves had attempted to steal poly tanks or water tanks from the school there were also issues with drug addicts moving in to threaten the teachers indeed at that time we met with the municipal chief executive solomon and he made some assurances. He has followed up on his words and has supported the school in diverse ways. Today, we are here with this update or progress report so you appreciate what the authorities have done, as well the efforts of the school authorities who engaged us at the time, and then also the efforts of Community Watch in liaison with these authorities. But well, if you couldn't watch, don't worry, just relax. I am going to bring you a report so you come up to speed with the situation. Stay on, watch, then we continue. It all started with a distress call from a head teacher of the La Wireless Cluster of Schools, Ahaji Gamel, in September 2020. Incident of men stealing the school's water tank had been foiled. Teachers lived in fear as drug addicts constantly harassed them. Uh, you can see from behind you the platform. There's been a polytank, uh, 10,000 liters capacity that was donated by Rotary Club Accra North to the early child of the cluster and been storing water for more than 10 years today. Uh, early this morning, I was called that they have taken the tank away. And the sec lack of security lights is our major problem. They have turned this place into a wee smoking place. We have complained and we are tired. And the least thing you say at the time they come in, they will tell you that you are not for this place, you even they will beat you. In fact, the newly elected uh, assemblyman, Honorable uh, Ni Ama Abraham, he's aware. He has even informed the uh, municipal chief executive. I've gotten a word across to him. He asked me that we say we don't have security. I said yes. Last week he was here and I mentioned it. That was the day they were securing this polytank. He came around and I told him. So for the assembly, they are aware. Our municipal director is aware. A defense clinic had also been abandoned and become life threatening. Just look at this structure. It used to be the clinic for the school, but it's no longer in use and the roof has been taken off. But just see this crack, deep crack. And interestingly, the Ladade Kotopon Municipal Assembly has written an inscription on it since 2017 that this is a dangerous structure and ought to be demolished, but nothing has been done about it. You see this crack at one end to my left. There is another crack on the same wall to my right. Meanwhile, the bottom of it too has yet another crack, which shows that it is weak. There are over a thousand pupils on this compound. Just next to me is their canteen. So you'd have many of the pupils during break time coming over to eat right here. So the possibility of many of them coming close to this structure is really, really high. So having painted this picture to you, it is very likely that at some point, if the pupils come over to play, this wall with both sides cracked and the bottom also weak, it may fall over the pupil and we may have yet another incident of disaster being recorded here at the La Wireless cluster of schools. We had a meeting with the municipal chief executive, Solomon Kote Nikwe, who promised to transform the school by the end of December 2020. The way the wireless school it's, it's been there, I mean, since 1919. As we speak now, before this year ends, we are cutting sword. 
we are changing the whole school. The structure that we are referring to, we are demolishing the structure, we are demolishing some of the school buildings, we rearrange the uh, structures very well, create space, fix lights, I mean employ security men to increase the security in the school. We are also thinking that uh, if we can get one or two bungalows there for maybe the head teachers and few of the teachers that will also boost the security in the school that is wireless so i mean it's something that has come to our notice and we are on the drawing board and very soon we will change the school entirely and you, you, i mean you will like it on monday 18th january 2021 the community watch crew visited the school again to ascertain if its challenges had been resolved Six months ago when we came over here, the pupils weren't on campus. Now they are back and still nothing has been done about this weak structure standing on their premises. And see the inscription, keep off, danger, demolished by Ladma. Keep off, danger, demolished by Ladma. 15th June 2017, 2018, 2019, 2020 we are now in 2021 and nothing has been done about it lives of these pupils you see here are in danger i have with me now a haji nafiu kasim he is the chairman of the la wireless six and seven cluster and also member and executive of the school management committee so he's in a better position to tell us why the structure we see behind hasn't been attended to for about three years now welcome to metro tv we see the pupils in school and the structure which is in a very dilapidated state still stands endangering the lives of the pupils how come it has been a concern to us all these years, you know. It used to be our assembly hall. Then one day we were in a meeting, then we, we, we heard a crack. And then we, 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 we realized that we are, we are endangering our lives. So we came out of the meeting and held it elsewhere. That tells us how critical or serious this issue was. It still is. It is very serious because we even use this uh, building for our workshops and other, other, other things in there. So immediately if we saw the crack, we decided not to venture in there again until it is uh, rebuilt for us. So the assembly intervened and, and demarcated on it. They, they, they wrote on it, uh, stop, what, what, what? You, you can read it as- Danger, demolished by Ladma. It still stands. This is the situation, but the stuff that we, we are taking as SMC, members is that, executives is that, um, we intend when this session uh, restarts, as it, it start, began today, we we'll go to follow up to the assembly and, and seek from them where they have gotten to so far, because even when we are to hold serious uh, gathering, we have to uh, find uh, another place to, 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 to hold it. I trust that now you have a better appreciation of what the situation was on the campus of the La Wireless cluster of schools. Fortunately, we have with us here the Municipal Chief Executive for the Ladadikotopong Municipality to tell us what he's done since we visited the campus. Honorable, welcome to Metro TV's Community Watch. Thank you. Just as I told you the other time, when it comes to education, Environment plays a very big role when the environment is conducive. It affects the uh, learning of the children. Uh, at our last visit at La Wireless, we complained of few challenges. Number one is about street lights, it's about their water tank, it's about their, sanita their sanitation condition, and other few things. And as we speak now, we've moved in as an assembly. Uh, been able to fix uh, street lights, no of street lights in the school. They were complaining of their water tank. We're giving them water tank. Uh, when you 
go there now. We have a new washroom facility that is running. I mean, we've done a number of things in the wireless school just to change the environment. The last time I went there, I heard the uh, headmaster saying that now is feeling the presence of the assembly. So really, you can see a lot of things has gone on in the school and the environment is improving. Right, so you've heard from the Honorable Municipal Chief Executive for the Ladade Kutupong Municipality. He's mentioned a number of things that he's done to improve the condition at the La Wireless Cluster of Schools. You know that on Community Watch, we don't limit ourselves to the offices or just the engagement with the authorities. So just hold on. Let's get to the La Wireless Cluster of Schools and at first hand inspect some of the things that Honorable has done for the school. You are still on Community Watch and at the moment we are on the premises of the La Wireless cluster of schools within the La Radekutupong municipality. I have with me here a head teacher of the school, who is Ahaji Gamel. Ahaji, welcome. Thank you. What has happened since our last visit? But since your last visit, as you can see for yourself to my left hand side, mm -hmm. true to the words of the Honorable Municipal Chief Executive, he personally, I repeat, personally donated these 10,000 liters of uh, poly tank for us to what? To save water for the use of the children. I find this interesting and revealing because we had interacted with him moments ago and he did not mention that he had personally funded this uh, poly tank. Yes. So this is a mark of uh, someone who genuinely yeah. wanted to help the yeah. school. What it's, else? It's, mm -hmm. it's refreshing because he personally told me after the poly tank was stolen, a similar one, he brought us a small one, and that one was donated by the municipal assembly. Okay. But he realized that it could not contain enough water for the usage of the children. So he promised me and said, Alaji, true to my words, I would get you a bigger poly tank. Okay. And at the beginning of this semester, they brought the poly tank. And he came personally and donated it to the school. Okay. And you can see for yourself, we have also been able as a school to secure it. And since then, we've been using it. Okay. Yes. This is impressive. We know that we are in a period when there is an exercise ongoing to reappoint municipal and metropolitan chief executive. So maybe someone might watch and think that you are acknowledging his efforts primarily because of this exercise. Oh, but no. I recall that yes. when we initially came here and the situation was quite bad, but you mentioned it. I mentioned it. And you, you really spoke frankly yes. and how the authorities had not been adequately it. responsive. Yes. And if today they have indeed responded appropriately, it's worth mentioning Mention, Ahaji. Yes. But is this the only no. solution? Because I recall that there were other critical challenges no, that the La Wireless Castro of Schools he was being came faced. with a few security lights and he made sure that they were installed. Okay. So when you come to the compound in the evening, you see that in the front view, there's lights just along the wall of the school. And also inside, around the ICT center, you see security light there that brighten the compound. Okay. So it's not just the poly tank, he's done a lot. And also the building that caved in, mm -hmm. he made sure that the building was pulled down and everything, the debris was collected. So for now, this is what the municipal assembly and the municipal chief executive himself has done for the compound. But he promises that more will come. Okay. And uh, we are in the COVID period. He came personally, donated uh, PPEs to the cluster of schools, not only my school, to the cluster of schools. Okay. He personally came and also school uniform. He did that. Yes. So I understand that he's promised to do more. Yes. And we are hoping yeah. 
that he would actually honor his words and then do more for the Lawiles cluster of schools. I have my eyes on the school because I am a product of the Lawiles cluster of schools. When the Queen of England, Queen Elizabeth II, paid a visit to Ghana, Lawiles was one of the schools that she visited. The school was built by the British, I'm told, or during the British time, the colonial. How many years now? Oh, it's around 1948. Around 1948. They're one of the oldest business one, schools yes, in Ghana. Yeah, one of the oldest. Oh, that okay. we all know it to be the Queen's uh, school. Impressive, yes, impressive. Yes. So, thanks very much. I understand you also have a new washroom having been made operational. Yes, a new washroom. The old one that was decommissioned mm -hmm. somewhere last year was built. My brother, it's refreshing. It was through the initiative of the Queen's son, Prince Charles of Wales, the last time he visited Ghana, someone approached him and asked that something of that sort should be built for the cluster. And my contact and my name was given. And Water Aid was the link. So through Water Aid, we've now gotten 28 Sita toilets. There are two, 14 for boys, 14 for girls. And we started using it. This is impressive. Yes. You know why? Yes. When I was in La Wireless Cluster of Schools, they should be in the late 90s. 90s yeah. There was a time when pupils were climbing up the walls to enter the point where the AU mansions right. yes. are. And at one point, three pupils drowned in what was then called the Bishop in the yard, yeah, the, yeah, the yeah, garden. Yeah. They died because they've been moving into the garden to openly defecate there. So this is really refreshing that is true. indeed. Yeah. Thank you very much, yeah, Ahad. Right. Your last yeah, words. Uh, all that I'll say is that we are underprivileged. Let me put it that way. So we want to appeal to NGOs Philanthropies and then the municipal assembly. We know the municipal assembly cannot do everything for us, but like the NGOs and also corporate bodies around can come to the aid of this uh, cluster of schools. Some of them do watch many high profile personalities and then executives within corporate organizations. What are some of the core challenges? that are yet to be addressed so they know that oh i could assist with this this is what i can also do to support my brother like i said the queen's school from 1948 till date the roofs have never been changed you don't mean it yes so some of these roofs are over 50 years this one was 58 it has never been changed so we are appealing to corporate bodies that they should come to our aid change the roof of the buildings painting and also furniture for now furniture is our biggest problem when they are able to supply furniture to the schools at least and the children are able to sit and ride very well it will be a good mark of improvement in our teaching and learning so we are just appealing whoever can help should come and help and uh, before you take leave of me i'll also commend Rotary Club, Accra North, and then Rotary Club, Accra East. They are doing very well. They are friends of the class of schools, and we are hoping that they will do more to assist us. Yes. Thank you very much, Alaji, and thanks to, to you for being very committed to the cause of the school and always being there to ensure the best interest of the people. This is the only thing I can give out to the little ones. Tomorrow, who knows where they will be? So we are just praying that as we are here, we'll do our part and then others will come and also continue. And I also thank you very much for taking vested interest in this class of schools. As you've mentioned, as an old boy, not all boys will do this, but you in particular, we are so, so grateful to you. Right, so welcome back, Honorable. Indeed, the headmaster has attested to the fact that, look, you've done greatly well. What's your feedback on that? I think it's, it's, it's very refreshing hearing that, that people are recognizing and appreciating your efforts. But again, let me say, just as I uh, discussed with you the other time, uh, we're going to put 
18 unit classroom block on the wireless compound as we speak now it's because of election and other few things but as we speak now we are done with procurement process we are about to move in to start the project and and very soon when you go to La Wale School, you won't be able to recognize the school. We are going in to change the school. And I have five main areas that I'm looking at as Municipal Chief Executive leading the assembly. We are looking at education, we are looking at security, we are looking at job creation, we are looking at revenue mobilization. When you go to some of the schools in the municipality, go to uh, home school, uh, primary and you'll be able to uh, recognize the place we've changed the place go to Malidara we've done uh, I mean some of the structures we've renovated them go to Churinga go to other schools go to uh, association we are putting up 18 unit classroom block and other places when we talk about creating job for our youth in the municipality uh, last year, even not because of the COVID, we started meeting all stakeholders, all institutions in this municipality. We told them as part of their corporate social responsibility, they have to give us quota for our youth. It was something that we started, but COVID uh, set in and we have to put it on a hold. We are going back to the drawing board. We have started engaging them. Very soon we invite them for a breakfast meeting. We will look at it and we will see if they are working in our municipality they should be able to provide jobs for our youth in the mini municipality right, and for those of you who may not know la host major corporate institutions here in accra so we have major institutions like the la palm and the labadi beach hotels we have and even the Burma camp being on the La soil, 37 military hospital, just name them. There are really so many. Well, police headquarters is also on La land. So, Honorable believes that they could really leverage on these institutions and the networks within La to empower the young people through employment, which we are hoping that in due time would actually come the way of the La people. Honorable, we know that in these times uh, vetting is ongoing for the reappointment or appointment of new mmdc's metropolitan municipal and district chief executives you are hopeful of being yeah. affirmed again yeah i'm very very hopeful because i've been in office for a year and i've been i think few months and we can all witness the great uh, work that we've done in this short period and there are lots too that we've started just as i said we are looking at security we are looking at job creation we are looking at other things and with what we've started i believe that if the president should give us the mandate again within the next four years i mean there's going to be a tremendous change there's going to be great impacts on this municipality so i know the president is very much aware of what we are doing look at the la market when i came in the la market project was at a stage and we were having a lot of challenges around it why it could not continue but i came in and together with the assembly we were able to push through now we have relocated our women into it they are doing business of the assembly to provide a place of abode for me but I look at it and I look at the money that uh, the assembly invested into getting me a place I said no quickly I took steps and as we speak now I'm putting up MC bungalow we are about 80 to 90 percent complete very soon will be done talk about our cemetery the royal cemetery a uh, uh, public cemetery go and look at the place we have fenced the place we are turning the place into something when we talk about drains we've done a lot of drains in this municipality so i believe the track record is so clear that if uh, bible says that he who has begun a good work is the same that can bring it to an expected end so if i'm given the chance i believe i'll be able to bring it to an expected end 
there's going to be a change in this in, in this municipality and you see uh, this work is not for uh, 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 people the work is for strong people and now looking at the pace at which our regional minister is going we we need people who understand the terrain with this spirit we've gained experience with this period, we've built relationship with technocrats, we've built relationship with uh, 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 traditional leaders. So we are in a better position to move and flow with the regional minister so that we'll be able to achieve the president's goal in this region. Well spoken, Honorable. We wish you well and hopefully we are able to meet up after the whole process is over. Thanks for your time here on Community Watch. So, Community Watch primarily focuses on development-oriented initiatives, efforts and actions that will transform our communities to make them better places to be. If you have related concern or challenge within your community that you would wish we highlight, please do not hesitate to call the team via 0241 431035. Thanks to the entire team for making this possible. My name is Gabriel Niobodai Togbo Ashon, ably assisted by Rosemary Koko Anigba and Joshua Karia Adum. Bye bye for now.